Hey, there's a big question that I hear a lot on our YouTube channel and comments, and that's how to spend money. How should I invest? What should I do? What should I have as an insurance agent to really get to the next level, even to get started as a new insurance agent? So I'm going to go through some things that you should consider investing in as an insurance agent. And I think a couple of these things I'm going to share with you will actually surprise you, right? So stay with me. We're going to talk about how to invest. And so I'm going to go through some basic things. The first thing is you need to think about it would be a CRM. Okay, something to track your clients. It don't have to it don't have to be expensive. I think we have a if you go to like training.codyaskins.com, we have an agent resource library and I think we've got a link for Radius Bob a CRM for like $19 a month, okay? Should we go to training.codyaskins.com to check that out. And so that's one thing that I know that I didn't always have originally as an agent, but I wish I would have. It's helpful, keeps everybody organized. You can export, you can mail, you can, you can have it track birthdays. There's a lot of little things that you can do. So a CRM is a smart investment as an insurance agent if you don't already have one or if your company doesn't have one. The second thing is business cards. You know, Even though people may say, well, business cards are outdated and I personally don't use business cards nowadays, that doesn't mean that my client doesn't want me to leave one when I go sell them and take their money. Right? So think about business cards as like a, uh, you can have digital business cards, you can have real business cards, but if you're still seeing seniors and you're out, out with families every day, you need something to leave with them that shows who you are, they can look you up, they can remember you, and it's still very, very important. Right? The third thing that I like even better than business cards is business card magnets. I used to use this at homes constantly i would leave it on i would literally go place it on their fridge for them if you leave it up to them they probably won't go put it on the fridge people are lazy i would take it and i would put it on their fridge and i guarantee you i've got clients from 10 years ago eight years ago six years ago that still have my magnet on their fridge because i still get calls today which is powerful it's crazy how easy is it for someone to lose a business card or a pin they get thrown away, they get in the drawer, they get put here or there, they end up in the junk, everybody's got a junk drawer, right? Business card magnets are visible, they're right in front of you, they're on their fridge, and they're powerful, right? The fourth thing you need to really strongly consider is you need to consider investing in, in some marketing, all right? Whether that's, whether that's you doing it yourself, whether that's you buying leads from Secure Agent Leads, whether that's you buying marketing services from Secure Agent Marketing and Secure Agent Marketing is managing those marketing services for you, whatever. You need to be considering investing into marketing because the big thing, the big reason insurance agents fail is they don't consistently get in front of people every single week. And they don't invest money and they don't know what to do and then they end up not investing money and then they don't end up getting in front of people consistently week in and week out. Marketing and leads can do that for you. I encourage you that no matter what you're selling, you have to be sitting with 10 people every single week. Those are prospects. I don't care if it's warm market, marketing, leads, whatever you gotta do, door knocking, cold calling, whatever. Businesses, chambers, networking, you have to be getting in front of 10 people every single week. We got a course called Prospecting 101 in our course library at CodyAskins.com. It's Prospecting 101. It's like a couple hundred bucks and it teaches people how to invest, how to get in front of people consistently, how to prospect as an insurance agent because prospecting is one of the main things that insurance agents struggle with. Marketing is key because it can help you be consistent week in and week out. All right, the next thing is a website. Most, most people don't have a website they don't have a digital presence, they're not investing in SEO for long-term growth. I would say that the, the clients that are making the most amount of money with us, I'm talking 50 grand a month, 100 grand a month, 200 grand a month, or companies that are making 10, you know, a million bucks a month, that we're managing stuff for them, they're investing in long-term growth, right? Through websites, blogging, YouTube videos, they're investing in the future, they're investing in tomorrow's dollar instead of today's dollar. They're thinking more long-term than short-term, and that's why a website and SEO is extremely important. Security, here at Secure Agent Marketing, one of the companies I own, we do websites and SEO for insurance agents. It's extremely affordable. It's something that you need to have. 
something that you can add to your business card, your business card magnet, something you can add to your Facebook page, something add to, you can add to any of your marketing that you're doing. You need to have somewhere that someone can go online. If they search, I, I, I challenge you to try this right now. If you go search, say you're selling Medicare. Search Medicare insurance agent on Google in your area. Whatever product you're selling, final expense insurance agent, life insurance agent, property and casualty insurance agent, whatever. Search what you sell, your core product that you sell, car insurance agent, whatever, in your local market and see who pops up. And then study what they're doing because even though they may be number one on Google, they may, they may show up as the number one Google My Business area and everything else, or they may show up on Google Maps, you can be where they are. And it doesn't take as long as you think. So if you start thinking about long term and having a digital presence and having a website, right? It's your digital handshake. You need to be thinking about those things as well, right? So we've talked about CRM, business card, business card magnets, marketing leads, website SEO. Another thing that most people don't think about when it comes to investing is they don't think about investing their time. They don't think they don't think about reading books, audio books, learning. I am constantly trying to invest in YouTube videos, etc. I try to invest my time in learning. What there's the reason people don't succeed is there's things that other people know that you need to know to win and succeed, but your your ego is getting in the way of you spending money or re, or reading a book to know what other people know, right? I spend not only time not only energy, but I also spend money. I would say that I spend, if you think about all the events that I go to, and, and, and when I say this number, you, most of you are going to think I'm full of it, but I promise you, my video guys are here, they can attest to this. When I think about all the events that I go to, when I think about the cruises, when I think about the big conferences, when I think about the books, when I think about the audio books, when I think about the coaches, when I think about the, you know, the YouTube coach and, and the business coach and all these other people and the universities, everything else, I guarantee you I spend about $100,000 per year just on in investing in myself. And I feel like I'm slowly trying to get to where I want to go because I'm not afraid to take some freaking risk. Most people are afraid of this. But I'm telling you, anybody that's been uber successful in the world had to take some risk along the way. We've got 8% Nation now. We've, 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 we've lost over a half a million bucks investing into this because it's going to change the future of our industry. And I'm thinking long term instead of short term. All right. So you can invest time. You can invest your energy. Right. Most people need to be working out. They need to be, they need to be working on themselves. And you can invest your money in, 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 in you. And that's an investment that you should be making consistently. Right? They say the top CEO reads a book every single week. I'm starting a book of the month and I'm trying to get to where I eventually start reading a book a week. It sounds like a lot. But if the top wealthiest people in the world are doing it, then why wouldn't I do it? Those are success habits that you need to be thinking about. All right? So one thing I want to leave you with is my power five. My power five of five things that I do every single day that are investments back into my business and myself. All right? I call it my power five five. And there are five things that I really focus on doing to start my day. I want to wake up between 5 and 5.59 a.m. That's called the 5 a.m. club. All right. That's n number one. Number two, I want to get a good workout in because when my energy is right, when I'm upbeat, when I'm enthusiastic, when I'm excited, when I'm moving fast paced, I have better days than when I don't. It's important whether you think it's important or not. All right, it's super important. Your health and your energy is everything in my opinion, all right? The third thing is I write down my goals. Having goals and having something to shoot for. When I made 117k in my first 8 months, I wrote down that I wanted to make 100k my first year and I wrote it down every flipping day. And then it became a reality. Weird that when you write something down and you get serious about something that it, it ends up becoming a reality, all right? If you want something to become a reality, you need to be thinking about it every day, you need to be writing it down every single day, all right? The next thing is I try to learn something every single day from a book or an audio book or a YouTube video a podcast. I was listening to Brad Lee's podcast, Dropping Bombs, which I was on last year, and I was listening to him interview Jordan Belfort. And I loved it. I eat that stuff up, man. I, I want to pick up nuggets. What are they doing? 
When I, when, and, and, and when I learn, I think about it different than most people. Most people, when they're learning and they're investing time and money and energy and they're watching stuff, and when I watch a podcast, I'm thinking, what does this dude know that I don't know? And how can I give him money to know what he knows? Most people will have their egos in the way, their prides in the way. They will not spend money. I will spend money to know what that person knows, right? I watched Evan Carmichael and then went and gave him several thousand dollars because I want to know what that dude knows, right? The next thing is, and most of you will never do it, is a cold shower. It's, it's invaluable how it wakes me up. I did it this morning again. It wakes me up and it forces me to do something to start my day that I do not like doing. Everybody says, oh, you, gotta do, you only do stuff you love to do. Hogwash. You need to do stuff that you don't like to do. And that's how I want to start my day every single day. So those are my power five that I encourage you. I teach this and we, and we practice this and we're posting in my Success Society group talking about this every single day. So if you're not a part of Success Society, add me on Instagram at Cody.Askins. Reach out. We'll get you added to my Success Society Facebook group, secret Facebook group. It's of agents. I've got a weekly accountability call. I'm helping agents every week. It's about investing. It's about investing in your business. It's about investing time, energy, and money so that you can take you, your business, and yourself, and your income, and your life to another level. Hey, if you love this video and you want to get your phone skills up, I got the video for you how to nail the first 30 seconds of a call. Go right there, click on that video, and I'll see you there. Hey, insurance phone calls are tough. Nobody wants to pick up the phone. Everybody struggles to do this. And I'm going to show you how to nail the first 30 seconds of an insurance phone call right now. There's several mistakes.